Hi everyone, in this video I want to explain you quickly the difference between a pod and a deployment and for this I'm going to use Doom, the game, yes Doom, because I've got a really special version of Doom which can listen to a Kubernetes namespace and each time that a pod is created in this namespace there will be a monster in the game, okay? So let's create a pod here, a really simple pod and let me go to the game and you can see that the pod has been created and I should have a pod, a monster appearing here in the game. Where is the monster? There he is. Oh, there is my pod. And let me try to kill this pod. He's trying to catch me and he's, he is catching me. Let me kill it. I killed the pod, okay. Oh, he's resisting a bit, but I killed him, okay. And you can see here terminating. Uh, Oh, as long as it is terminating, the pod comes back. Okay, now he's really terminated, he should not come back. And you can see here, well, I'm almost dead, but no more pods. And there's no more pods because we don't have a deployment behind it. So once the pod is killed, it's killed. If we want to make sure that our cluster maintain a count, a number of pods that we want, we need to create a deployment. So let's create a deployment. Let me check here and let me go for a deployment. There we go. A deployment. There is my deployment. Okay, with one replica for now. And let's create this and let me go back to the game. And we should have a new pod appearing. And where is he? Where is he? He's there. Okay, let me try to kill it. He's far away. Yeah, I kill it. But as soon as I'm killing it, a new one is creating. You can see that here, uh, just above me. And there he is. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. And that is because a deployment makes sure I have always the correct number of pods. Okay. If I go here and I do cube, cube, uh, CTL, uh, scale deployment, and my deployment is called uh, doom demo deployment and let's say I want uh, four pods, so four monsters, okay? So uh, it's going to scale for me four pods and if I go back to my game here, it should be really buzzy. Uh, whoa, 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 let me just try to escape and here you can see all these pods. There are all these pods trying to kill me. Oh, 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 oh. And let me go here. And this time, if I do kubectl delete, delete, I'm a bit cheating here. Delete, and let me go back to the game. Look, oh no, they're still here. Oh, 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 and I'm dead. But you see that I disappeared, okay? So, that was a funny way to explain you the difference between a pod and a deployment. You should never create a pod yourself. You should always use a deployment, okay? If you want to know more about all this great stuff that you can do with Kubernetes, be sure to visit our tutorial. It's really easy to go there. It's dn.dev slash cube tutorial. You will find a tons of material. Everything is explained. All the comments are explained. And uh, that's it. See you for our next video. Bye-bye.